feel sexy? No, I never wear lingerie. I'm generally like we have sex, but I'm You're not so much of a sexy. What are you talking Thank about? You. Like competent confident women that are like in control of what they're doing I, like that is the definition of sexy go on <laughs> and like you're fucking hot and stuff there's that too like i've seen i've seen your nudes not that i went looking i, I went looking but <laughs> so uh yes we made like a date night out of it and it was actually really great because so i had wholesome. never like been sexy for him before i'd never like put lingerie for him before and like how long you been together him? over three years and you never wore lingerie for him no i never liked it I honestly was, like, i never i just felt si- for my i just guys. felt silly in it i felt like an imposter oh. it felt like something that my models wear i don't do that like right. i'm not a it is sexy so girl hard like that. to I'm a, separate like, yeah lingerie from work lingerie yeah. feels like my work uniform yeah to some degree yeah i felt i felt like an imposter i felt kind of embarrassed and i was like you know i'm gonna look like i'm trying to be you know trying I'm trying too hard. Like, this isn't right for me, but... It's so funny because, like, we're... We are flooded with all of this media, right? Mm-hmm. Of, like, women looking effortlessly mm-hmm. sexy. Yeah. But you and I know yeah. how many fucking hundreds of hours of man work went into that. Yeah. Like, from the, all of the procedures, the, like, mm-hmm. the maintenance procedures that she gets done, to all of the pre-planning of those photos, to the retouching of those photos, mm-hmm. to the distribution of those photos. Like, everything in it is effort, the effort is making it look effortless. Yeah. And you can imagine, I mean, you know, with how meticulous I am about shooting content of oh, other I can't people. Imagine. Forget it when it's me. <gasps> Baby. That is really hard. And also, like, it's someone else doing it, too. Yeah. So, like, there's. Who's not a professional. That's what I was about to say. Like, I don't think he's probably a pro. So there's that other side of it. Like, my boyfriend takes all these photos of me, and I'm like, don't you dare post those. Yeah. Like, I have a brand. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't say that sentence without laughing. But it's but, true. Like, no, it's we're so hard on ourselves. Mm-hmm. Nothing is good enough for mm-hmm. my face. Like yeah. nothing. Yeah. So, but I have to say, like, he's really learning. Like, I teach him stuff. Like, I'll this take the shot, and I'll be like, thing. okay, this you need to shoot it this way, and this is why. Mm-hmm. And so, like, and he's like actually like, picking up and got a good eye. So I was impressed. So. So anyways, well, and he loves you. So like yeah. when you love the subject, it's kind of like when you love who you're cooking for, there's mm-hmm. just like an extra X yeah. factor that yeah. goes in. I don't know. Have you ever loved somebody that you photographed? No. It's it's different. <laughs> no, it's not. Like, I mean, not in that way. I mean, I've never not, not like. In have a you sexy done like way. portraiture like, though? Like uh, yeah, I've shot like portraits of like my boyfriends or whatever. I actually shot a great picture of my boyfriend. Um, yeah, for his. Uh, headshots work work headshot yeah so i mean yeah but it's different like when you love the person you're you're photographing you see them in a different way yeah but yeah but that's exactly how it was so i was like sexy for him i like put on this show and like i'm a hair and makeup done which he never got so like for him it was like really a treat a treat and exciting we rented like this nice hotel room and then we just had like fucking amazing sex and he was like I love this. This is great. Like you're like, I never get to have you like this. Oh my God. So it was actually like a really, it was really good for our relationship. And so I think we're going to try to do it like every few months. Oh my God. And like, yeah. And he's totally, you know, I love that. I love that so much. So it, it it actually like worked out nice. It's just, and also too, like, and I don't want to be an ageist because I, I hate it when other people do this, but you know how like you make exceptions for everybody else, but like it's, for yourself it's always like there's no excuse but i feel stupid like being like 41 and like trying Wait, you're, to do you're these 41 things. i am no way you're not 41 i am okay firstly all right like why do men get to be sexy into their 50s and 60s like my mom would still jump sean connery's bones me if too she had the option i mean frankly me three but me too. like bro why do men stay fucking until they're like literally so old that they can't even move and we suddenly stop being sexualized around like late 30s early 40s because i'll tell you exactly why because for men usually the attractiveness is all about power right and for women the attractiveness is about youth and fertility specifically fertility Honestly, the, it's true. It, like, it is true because we don't – we only see, like, one facet. It's like that, men yeah, – Exactly. That's if you're only looking at things in a mul- in a one-faceted way. Like, right. very, like, 
closed minded kind of narrow yeah. scape. But I think that the changing landscape of like porn, like we were talking about with, you know, the MILF brand being so huge, we're huge. seeing that. And mature. Yeah. I was just reading. Uh, no, I was with you when I was like reading that. Pornhub Insights, yes. actually. We were reading the, the Pornhub Insights blogs, which to anybody listening, I super recommend. It's like a really, it's safe for work. You can go to the Pornhub Insights blog. And it's really interesting just to read like what actually people are beating off to. Yeah, as the a top whole. searches for this year. It's and wild. And the top five was what, Aliens? Um, it right? was Aliens, ASMR, um, Mature, not MILF, mature. mature. Uh, these were the top, like, the ones that had made, like, huge trending gains. They weren't necessarily, like, the top ranked. Oh, okay. Like, the top ranked was, like, Japanese, hentai, Which lesbian, MILF. Yeah. Um, all of, like, the standard categories. But those with, were, like, the ones that made, like, huge gains mm-hmm. over the course of this year. Um, but, yeah, no. I, I think that I'm really fascinated by women who... Like, there's something really magical, I think, about turning 40 or so, Mm -hmm. because you're liberated from a lot of those expectations that are put on youthful women Mm -hmm. of how you have to act and how you have to be. Like, I love women from the ages of, like, 40 to 60, because somewhere in that span of time, they just give fewer and fewer fucks. (laughs) Like, they really stop giving a fuck. And, like, men stop relating to them and immediately through the lens of, like, sexualizing them. Mm -hmm. So, like, you have this strange freedom at times Mm -hmm. of, like... Like, not being instantly sexualized. You can yeah. just be a person first as opposed to, like, a potential sexual conquest. This is so true because it's it's funny. I've noticed as, you know, I've gotten older that I am definitely hit on a lot less. Oh, and yeah. And, like, wolf whistled on the street and that kind of stuff. And, yeah, I don't really need – I don't feel like I really need to worry about men like – trying to fuck me all the time yeah like Like, it's tiring in your use yeah and the thing is is that's weird is i kind of feel like i look better now than i did when i was younger thank you (laughs) only because when i was in my 20s i was like a raging alcoholic and i don't know if you've ever seen pictures of me in my 20s yeah i I look really bad (laughs) my face is like really bloated and i'm like i look terrible i'll show you some photos of bloating me at all (laughs) So, so it's interesting, but I think that there's, so I think it's not even just like the attractiveness, but I think like youth may be the idea of some kind of corruptible innocence or some kind of vulnerability, nativity, vulnerability that, that, you know, certain pr- more predatory men, obviously not all men, there's a mo- lot of wonderful men out there, but are attracted to that. Right. And I think it also like, you can get even more psychological. It can even be about like the age at which you stopped maturing mentally. There Mm. can be that sense of like, you know, these are my golden years. And so when I think about like these prime sexual experiences that I had, it was all with women who sort of like looked like that. Mm -hmm. Um, There's that sense. Like, I just find that uh, I don't want to shit on on a blanket shit on like a, a group of people like your kink is your kink whatever but you know when i see the um the prevalence of like the teen genre mm-hmm. at times i look at it and i'm just like explain to me 55 year old man in uh, 200 words or less exactly what it is about this that you find appealing because i find as i get older that the demographic of what i find attractive skews Mm. but also that my relationship to like say god so you know the the shoot that you and i had where like the girl looked at me not the one yesterday but like the one where the girl looked at me and she's like my prom was six months ago Oh, f- wait. Shh. Yes and no. I don't remember off the top of it my was, head. It was the, is- it was the nightmare one. It was the... the oh, yeah. 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 I yeah. forget that one. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And like she'd never been with a woman and all of that stuff. And yes. like I really had to go into this headspace, like a very predatory headspace to be mm-hmm. able to do this. Like I had to think of her as this like thing that I was going to devour in order to be able to like get into a place where like I could actually fuck her like there was very much that like power dynamic that had to come into play for it to be something attractive to me like anytime that I have to fuck somebody born after the year 2000 (laughs) like I'm just I'm just like okay 
we're going to think some stuff that we're not going to analyze too deeply for the next hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> and uh, we can unpack this in therapy later. <laughs> this is just i just work. doing whatever I need to do to get through the scene. Yeah. And like to be able to deliver a convincing p- performance and you right. sort of have to go into this alternative headspace. And like doing that has made me understand what men find attractive about teens. Mm-hmm. Like I've looked at this and I'm like, wait, I'm actually turning myself on here. Oh, my God. This is... This is like the fuck. These are the the strange parts about doing porn is that mm-hmm. you kind of have to find something attractive about every person that you're with if you really yeah. care about your job and like really care.